Welcome to Simple Investing Secrets. In today's video, we'll review the top 25 dividend stocks to buy and hold in 2023. So before we start, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Let's get started. The secret to investing in dividend stocks lies in finding a company with a long history of reliable dividend payments. Recently, you and other people have both looked at your investment accounts and been alarmed by what you have seen. Nearly all investors are suffering as a result of Wall Street's terrible year. It's important to remember that paper declines are different from actual losses that are recorded when a sale is made. If you're patient, many of the same stocks that are currently heavily in the red may recover and eventually even turn a profit. Of course, not every stock is worthwhile to hold on to. However, the following reliable dividend payers serve as excellent illustrations of the kind of investments you can trust in for a very long time. Finding an organization with a long track record of dependable dividend payments is the key to investing in dividend stocks. Growth in dividends is also crucial. Rising dividends reward existing investors with steadily rising yields on the shares they previously purchased at lower prices, as well as making a stock more appealing to new income investors. Our list of dividend stocks, which is dominated by well-known names, is a good place to look to find high-quality companies for your long-term investment portfolio. Let's review our list of the top 25 dividend stock to buy and hold in 2023. Number 25. Exxon Mobil Corporation, ticker, XOM. Analysts say that Exxon Mobil Corporation, which is based in Texas, is one of the best dividend stocks to hold for the long term. Neil Mehta at Goldman Sachs gave Exxon Mobil Corporation stock a buy rating and a target price of $112 in a report that came out in September 2022. This was after he met with CEO Darren Woods and other members of the senior management team. The analyst believes that Exxon Mobil Corporation has an important role to play in the transition towards renewable energy as the company is focusing on projects that are related to biofuels, hydrogen, and carbon capture and storage. Exxon Mobil Corporation has generated returns of over 60% in the last year. The company is taking steps to cut costs and is expected to make more money than its expected profit margin. Number 24. Walmart, ticker, WMT. As of 2022, the company has over 10,500 retail locations and a headcount of over 2.2 million employees. In a research note issued on October 2022, Hans Engel at Erste Group upgraded Walmart Incorporated stock from a hold to a buy rating. The analyst believes that Walmart Incorporated offers low but stable growth in sales and is one of the best long-term stocks in the consumer sector. As of October 2022, the company's annualized forward dividend yield is 1.74 percent. 67 hedge funds own Walmart at the end of the second quarter of 2022. Number 23. Realty Income, ticker, O. Since its start in 1969, Realty Income has invested in thousands of commercial properties in the US, UK, and Spain. Most of these properties are rented by a single tenant. For the fiscal quarter ending June 30, 2022, Realty Income's total assets were valued at $44.95 billion. The company makes investments in a wide range of properties, from beautiful vineyards in Napa Valley to more than 107 11 stores. With a portfolio that diverse, it's no wonder Realty Income is one of the few companies that pay monthly, not quarterly or yearly dividends. It's done so for more than 620 consecutive months, and ever since the company went public in the mid-90s, it has increased the yield 117 times. The most recent increase raised shareholders' dividends to $0.248 per share, to be paid out on October 2022. Annually, based on the new increase, shareholders should see $2.976 a share, bringing Realty Income's dividend yield to nearly 4.5%. That's on the higher end of the average yield you'll see from most S&P 500 dividend stocks, and it's also one of the highest dividend yields on our list of stocks. Number 22. Caterpillar, ticker, CAT. Caterpillar Incorporated is an American Fortune 500 corporation and the world's largest construction equipment manufacturer. At the end of October 2022, the company announced outstanding earnings. On the other hand, depending on your perspective, the company's comments regarding demand have investors perplexed or fired up. Caterpillar stood to benefit from the infrastructure spending bill that passed Congress in the summer of 2022. That appears to be playing out at this time. Currently, CAT stock is bumping against its consensus price target. However, Caterpillar has received several price target increases since the earnings report. Furthermore, the company has an attractive P.E. ratio of around 15x earnings and a dividend yield of over 2%, which will reward investors for holding on even if a recession is on deck for 2023. Number 21. 
AbbVie Incorporated, ticker, ABBV. AbbVie is a recession-proof healthcare company with excellent margins and a hefty free cash flow to finance ongoing operations. Its drug research pipeline spans oncology, immunology, neuroscience and other specialized areas with dozens of trials currently in the works. That will ensure a bright future to build on current success from blockbusters such as its immunology medications Skyrise and Rinvoke. These drugs are great examples of how AbbVie operates, as they have stepped up to replace revenue that's waning from its previous winner in arthritis drug Humira, which is coming off patent protection. With an amazing track record of research on top of a more than 250% increase in its dividend over the last decade, ABBV is a stock you can buy and hold forever with confidence. Number 20. 3M Company, ticker, MMM. 3M commands a brand portfolio of more than 6,000 patented products across a diverse array of industries. From consumer offerings like post-it notes, scotch tape and command wall hanging strips to specialty coatings and chemicals for industrial applications, there's a wide variety of revenue streams feeding into this $70 billion company. That makes for incredibly reliable operations, including more than 60 years of consecutive dividend increases. 3 million shares have been volatile in the near term. The yield is more than three times that of the typical S&P 500 component, which is ample incentive to buy and hold this blue-chip stock for the long run. The dividend yield for 3M company is 5.3%. Number 19. AT&T Incorporated, ticker, T. Telecom giant AT&T is a stock with staying power, and it's not just because of its entrenched wireless network. The firm recently streamlined operations by cutting out its tangential media operations, using cash to pay down debt and focus on the future. That's a great sign as we enter the age of 5G and heavy demands on telecom infrastructure that will undeniably require strong investment to keep customers happy. And as AT&T maintains its world-class service in the years ahead, it's also maintaining an enviable record as a dividend stock with 36 consecutive years of increases in payouts for shareholders. That gives you ample incentive to buy and hold. The annual dividend yield for AT&T is 6.96%. Number 18. Coca-Cola Company, ticker, KO. When it comes to brands with staying power, it's hard to think of a company more dominant and iconic than Coke. It's valued at more than $250 billion, making it one of the 25 largest publicly traded stocks in the US, with more than 120 years of successful operations. It's also one of the most generous dividend stocks out there when it comes to consistent increases in payouts, with more than 60 straight years where management has increased distributions. With an incredible portfolio of popular consumer staples, Coca-Cola stock has what it takes to thrive for many years to come. Coca-Cola Company's annual dividend yield is 3.0%. Number 17. Intel Corporation, ticker, INTC. Intel Corporation is an American multinational corporation and technology company headquartered in Santa Clara, California. It is the world's largest semiconductor chip manufacturer by revenue. Supply chains continue to be a mess for Intel and its branded chips aren't quite as dominant as they were in the heyday of PCs. Intel has committed $100 billion globally on new facilities including $30 billion in onshore foundries to ease supply shortages and focus on strategic autonomy that reduces reliance on China. On top of a sizable dividend, it all adds up to a fantastic long-term foundation. The dividend yield for Intel Corporation is 5.4%. Number 16. Home Depot Incorporated, ticker, HD. Home Depot is a stock with staying power, despite the fact that there is undoubtedly a chance of ups and downs depending on the short-term direction of the housing market. The company has raised its dividend for 12 straight years, with total payouts soaring from just 29 cents at the end of 2012 to an amazing $1.90 per share presently. It's the largest home improvement retailer in the US, with some 2,300 locations that are mainstays for both individual property owners and contractors alike. HD has what it takes to deliver long-term shareholder value regardless of real estate trends. Home Depot's annual dividend yield is 2.9%. Number 15. Johnson & Johnson, ticker, J&J. There are many ways that healthcare giant J&J is in a class by itself. It is one of the 10 largest stocks on Wall Street, and when you skip megacap tech stocks it is among the top three companies on US exchanges outside the information technology sector. It's one of just two entities on Wall Street with a top AAA credit rating, with Microsoft Corporation being the other. And it has been in operation for roughly 140 years. If all that wasn't enough to make you believe in Johnson & Johnson over the very long term, consider that healthcare is widely seen as the most recession-proof sector, 
as drugs and medical treatment are necessities no one will pass up regardless of price inflation or economic disruptions. All of this paves the way for JNJ and its shareholders to succeed for many more years. The dividend yield for Johnson & Johnson is 2.7%. Number 14. JP Morgan Chase & Company, ticker, JPM. Megabank JP Morgan stands at the front of the financial sector, above even other mammoth U.S. banks like Citigroup, Wells Fargo & Company and Bank of America Corporation. That's in part because these peers have struggled over the last decade or so since the financial crisis, while JPM powered past prior highs. Additionally, it pays even more generous dividends in 2022, while rivals are still falling short of what they were doing in 2007. The dividend yield of JP Morgan Chase & Company is 3.8%. JPM is unquestionably the kind of stock you want to invest in and hold for the foreseeable future because, in the event that this megabank disappears from the world, we would all face much more serious issues than portfolio underperformance. Number 13. Kraft Heinz Company, ticker, KHC. The powerful consumer brands of Kraft Heinz ensure that however tough things get, revenue will remain fairly constant as families continue to stock up on offerings like Philadelphia cream cheese, Maxwell House coffee and its iconic Heinz ketchup. Furthermore, in tough times consumers tend to cut back on restaurant visits and make dinner at home, creating a countercyclical boost for KHC in lean times. Further evidence of trust in Kraft Heinz Kraft Heinz Company's dividend yield of 4.7% is the ownership of at least 26% of the company by Warren Buffett's investment firm Berkshire Hathaway at the moment. Number 12. Ventas Incorporated, ticker, VTR. Ventas Incorporated is a real estate investment trust, also known as a REIT. It specializes in the ownership and management of health care facilities in the United States, Canada and the United Kingdom. While not as recognizable as the prior stocks on this list, Ventas is a $20 billion real estate company that is worth considering for any long-term portfolio. That's because VTR is focused on healthcare properties such as doctor offices, hospitals, or senior living communities across a massive portfolio of more than 1,200 properties. Unlike other real estate firms that invest in mortgages or volatile commercial real estate, Ventas tenants are recession-proof medical providers that have long-term leases and stable outlooks. The current dividend yield for Ventas is 4.3%. Number 11. International Business Machines, ticker, IBM. In recent years, it hasn't been easy for international business machines to deliver a positive message to shareholders. Although IBM shares are holding their own in 2022, up almost 5% over the past six months compared to a 20.4% decline for the S&P 500 for the most part, it's been a downward slide since hitting $200 in 2013. IBM's current strategy is to be a leader in the hybrid cloud and artificial intelligence. In its Q1 2022 earnings, it reported healthy double-digit sales increases, including a 17% increase in hybrid cloud revenue. Based on a market cap of $123.3 billion, IBM's current dividend yield is 4.8%. Number 10. Cisco, ticker, SYY. If you're looking for a dividend stock to hang on to in 2022 and beyond, Cisco Foods should be on your list. Its annualized total return year to date is 3%, about 20 percentage points better than the entire US market. The food distributor is one of the world's largest, serving over 650,000 customer locations worldwide from 343 distribution facilities. When you invest in a business like Cisco, you have to have the mindset that a little from a lot adds up to substantial profits. Through the first nine months of 2022, its operating margin was 3.5%. The dividend yield for Cisco is 2.5%. Number 9. Procter & Gamble, ticker, PG. Procter & Gamble is the firm behind some of the biggest consumer names on the planet, from Gillette shaving products to Pampers diapers and Crest toothpaste. Chances are you likely have a medicine cabinet or dresser drawer featuring P&G products, and chances are that the next time you go to the store you're going to keep buying the same tried and true brands. Procter & Gamble has increased its dividends at least once a year for roughly 65 years and has been in operation for just shy of two centuries. It's not a glamorous or high-growth business to peddle consumer staples, but it certainly is reliable for investors who are taking a very long view of their portfolios. Procter & Gamble's dividend yield is 2.5%. Number 8. Verizon, ticker, VZ. Verizon is perhaps as close to a sure thing as you'll be able to find on Wall Street these days. The company boasts a massive scale with more than $130 billion in annual revenue for millions of wireless, broadband, fiber optic and cable TV connections. 
And to top it all off, VZ is only paying about half of its operating profits as dividends, so even without future growth, there is plenty of headroom for future increases. About the only reason to doubt that Verizon will be around forever is if you expect the entire global communication system to collapse. Verizon's dividend yield is 5%. Number 7. Cisco, ticker, CSCO. A $232 billion leader in enterprise computing, Cisco is a Silicon Valley icon that has established itself as one of the dominant forces in the tech sector. While it has had plenty of false starts over the years including some weird forays into consumer technology with products like its flip camcorder, Cisco has withstood the test of time as its business has grown and its dividend with it. Dividend payouts began in 2011 at $0.06 cents quarterly per share, and have increased dramatically over the last decade to $0.37 cents per share in 2021. The company has the wind at its back right now, setting a new 52-week high in September and looking up in the short term even as it boasts a business that is clearly built to last. Cisco's dividend yield is 2.7%. Number 6. McDonald's, ticker, MCD. An icon of the restaurant industry, McDonald's is also a case study of a company that knows how to drive long-term shareholder value. Its dividend has grown impressively over time with more than 40 years running of at least one dividend increase per year. The cost-conscious and always convenient menu of McDonald's continues to appeal to customers despite the clear trend toward healthier eating. You can anticipate that this stock's recent expansion into delivery and loyalty programs will help it maintain its successful history for the foreseeable future. The current dividend yield for McDonald's is 2.3%. Number 5. Pfizer Incorporated, ticker, PFE. Most recently making a name for itself in part because of its leading C19 vaccine, Pfizer is a healthcare powerhouse that has what it takes to remain relevant in any market environment. One thing that's certain in life is that we all grow old and get sick, so a company like Pfizer with a strong track record and impressive global scale is a great long-term bet for dividend investors who want to set it and forget it. Number 4. Target, ticker, TGT. In the cutthroat discount retailing world, Target has consistently proven it doesn't have to compete on price to win. For years, it has proven more profitable than its peers, with some of the highest gross margins and operating margins in retailing. At the same time, its focus on increasing its e-commerce business and expanding in-store offerings has kept sales and profits growing at a nice clip. With dividend growth at 50 years and counting, dividend investors should put Target on their shopping list. Number 3. Lowe's, ticker, LOW. The home improvement giant may not seem like a very exciting stock. And that's true unless you like dividend growth. The company has raised its dividend every year since going public in 1961 and has raised the payout a massive 471% over the past decade alone. Another important number that's good for Lowe's is that the average US home is 37 years old. The next generation of do-it-yourselfers will spend a lot of money at Lowe's. Number 2. The Walt Disney Company, ticker, DIS. Disney is a fantastic long-term dividend play, despite the pandemic's temporary suspension of its dividends. In the media and entertainment industry, there are not many companies that you would typically think to include on a list like this. After all, consumer tastes are fickle, and you never know where the next hit might come from. With a firmly established brand, a wide variety of additional media brands under its umbrella, the Disney Plus streaming service and the combined media libraries of Disney and Fox now under its control, Disney's position in the American media landscape appears to be secure enough to survive the shifting sands of consumer tastes. Number 1. United Parcel Service, ticker, UPS. The rise of online retail meant a huge increase in business for parcel delivery, a pattern that the pandemic only strengthened. The trend away from brick-and-mortar retail is a gain for companies like UPS, which looks to be occupying an increasingly lucrative space between consumers and their stores. And of course, UPS was doing just fine with a parcel delivery business before Amazon and the like, so this is one company that appears more than likely to still be chugging along for the long term. Not every stock is worthwhile to keep in your investment portfolio, but our list gives you a selection of reliable businesses you can rely on over the long term. This concludes our list of the top 25 dividend stocks to buy and hold in 2023. As always, it is essential to do your due diligence before committing your hard-earned cash to buying stocks or investing in the market. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to receive weekly updates on the best stocks to buy and cutting-edge investment techniques. Thank you for watching and happy investing!